Hey everybody, I just want to get on here today to talk a little bit about the importance of mental health, you know, on your spiritual path. It really and truly just the importance of mental health in general. You know, when it pertains to your spiritual path, you know, a lot of people want to focus, you know, it's spirit, mind, and body. So, you know, they focus a lot on the spiritual, and then they also focus a lot on the physical because, you know, they say the duality, the two sides of things, the flip side of the coin. But a lot of times people start to neglect their mental health and you got to understand that your mind is kind of like, you know, the the fulcrum or the crux of, you know, your spirit and your body. Because, you know, what do they say? You know, your mind controls your body. But then also, how do you process your spiritual information through your mind? So you have to be able to see it as, you know, if you're not mentally strong, then you're not going to be able to, you know, fully accept know some of these spiritual concepts or be able to do some of this spiritual stuff that you're trying to do because you know you haven't worked on your mental state but in other things as well you know with your mental state with your mental health you know just being able to go out here and operate in the system you know you have to be able to take care of yourself you know regardless of whatever's going on what problems you're having the good things you're having you know you always need to take care of yourself you have to take that time out in order to nurture your mind nurture yourself and make sure that you're okay with how you are thinking and how you are actually perceiving this world because a lot of your perception comes from your mind. So you have to be able to, you know, make sure that that you're keeping that focus and you're keeping that sharpened, you're keeping that tool up to par because we always talk about our spiritual tools and then we talk about, you know, the physical tools that you know, correlate to the spiritual. But a lot of people don't talk about your mental tools. You know, your visualization is part of your mental tools. Your, your thought process, your determination, your will, you know, all this stuff is part of your mental tools. You know, so you have to be able to keep those safe. You got to be able to keep those up to par and not have those be sickly, you know. And that's what we call mental health because you want it to be healthy. You want it to be vibrant. You want it to be full of vitality. You want it to be able to, you know, really thrive in whatever situation you're going into. So when you're thinking about, you know, why am I able to do these things or why am I not be able to do these things? You have to understand that, you know, it's okay if you can't. It's okay if you can, you know. Wherever you're at, you know, accept that and be able to push on and move forth through there. Work on, you know, making yourself understand yourself better because, you know, a lot of times these mental health uh, issues and these mental health diseases that people say that they are, you know, they come from a fear of people not understanding, you know, where they're coming from. A fear of, you know, their perception not being accepted, but your perception and your, your, um, your viewpoint on the world really and truly is affected by you. Other people can explain what's going on with you, talk to you about it. But, you know, these are things that you have to work on. These are things that are for yourself. As soon as you start understanding yourself and you start understanding, you know, how you perceive it and accepting how you perceive it. That's a big thing. You have to accept it. You know, sometimes you don't want to accept how you perceive things and that's OK, you know. There's different tips and different things that you can do in order to, you know, strengthen your mental aspect, you know, even gaining more knowledge, reading or experiencing more things in the world, you know, to get a better, broader viewpoint, you know, to change your mentality, change your perspective on what's going on to help strengthen, you know, that mental aspect. But you can't neglect your mental health because, you know, you start neglecting your mental health and your body starts getting sick. You start neglecting your mental health and your spirit starts getting sick. You know, it really and truly affects everything. You know, I'm not saying that it's the most important aspect because, of course, you know, your spirituality, you know, is there at the cornerstone of everything. But if you're not, you know, mentally strong, you're not mentally focused on what's going on, then, you know, you won't be able to actually fully display and fully exhibit, you know, these different things about yourself because, a lot of people say your willpower, you know, let's say when you're working out and you're trying to, you know, get in shape or you're trying to reach a goal, you know, they always say your willpower, you know, your mentality on it. Be like, oh, you got to keep telling yourself, you know, those affirmations. Oh, I'm not tired or I want to keep doing this. I'm going to keep doing this. But these are things that are training your mental health. You know, you're doing a physical exercise, but at the same time, you're training your mental health, you know. Excuse me. Sorry. Um, <laughs> these things that we you know d exhibit as, you know, spiritual or just physical, you know, have that mental aspect to it. We have to keep all these in balance. You know, a lot of times when our spiritual, you know, activities and our spiritual health is starting to decline a little bit, 
you know, we might be able to fix that, you know, by putting a little bit more into our mental in order to, you know, change your perception and, you know, bring up that willpower to be able to do the things that you know will help your spiritual self out. Same thing goes with your physical self. You know, sometimes you start getting sick and you start not wanting to do things. You start getting doubtful or these things or different thoughts start coming up about not being able to do this because now you're physically sick. But if you start to focus your mental health, focus on that mental aspect, then you can start to bring that other part out, you know. So as I keep saying, this isn't to say that, you know, the mind is the most important aspect. But it is a very vital aspect because when you think about when the people talk about the Trinity, you know, spirit, mind and body, you know, there is a duality, but there's also the Trinity, you know. And if you want to keep things in balance, you have to be able to have all things balanced. You can't just focus on one thing. You know, there's a point in my life where I focused all on the spiritual like, and I started to neglect the mental and the physical. And then you started to see the different thing. Well, not you. I started to see these different things happening with myself. You know, I wasn't able to understand things as well. No, I physically wasn't able to do the things that I was able to do before because I was so focused on the spiritual that I started neglecting, you know, the mental and the physical. And then once I started changing my mentality, once I started getting that mental strength back, that's when the balance started coming back into play. You know, so there's a big reason why, you know, mental health is important. You know, for anyone out there who's going through anything and, is thinking about, you know, not being able to do this or not being able to do that and really just doubting themselves, you know, you know, talk to somebody, get out there and experience things because that's the biggest thing that you can do is actually converse and express yourself with somebody else and get their different viewpoint and their different perspective on things. You know, I offer sessions on my website and you can check it out. The link will be in the bio if you uh, want to talk to me about it. You know what I'm saying? And we can actually talk about these things from a non-judgment, non-biased point of view. But you have to work on your mental health. You have to be able to accept who you are, your mentality right now, and see how you can work on it to make things go forward. Because if you're not able to do this, then it just, you know, puts a hiccup in the whole world, puts another bump, another obstacle in your way. Now, this is not saying that it's going to completely stop you. You know, don't get discouraged. Please do not get discouraged just because you're going through a patch where, you know, your mental acuity is not where you want it to be. Because as long as you keep working on it, you know, you're going to be able to get there. You know, as long as you keep, you know, working on whatever you need to work on. I'm not sure exactly, you know, who needs to hear this right now, but it's going to be okay. Except where your mentality is at right now. You know, your mind might be scattered in a bunch of different places, but... You can bring it all back together. You can bring it together into that one, to that whole, to bring everything back into balance. You don't have to keep staying in the scattered mindset. You don't have to keep staying, you know, say, in this, in this mindset that's going to keep putting you down when you can want to be lifted up. You know, so keep working on it. Keep pushing at it. It's going to be all right. It's okay to be feeling this way right now because you're not going to be feeling this way forever. And this next moment, you could change. And that next moment, you could change. So keep at it. Keep pushing. It's going to be okay. But mental health, is very important you know even right now you might be thinking oh you know he's just doing this PSA about you know keeping keeping yourself together and all that but really truly once you start keeping yourself together you're keeping yourself together you're harnessing your energy you're harnessing that frequency and vibration in order to put it out there in the world and how you want to be able to express yourself how you want to be able to express yourself so make sure that you are focusing on all aspects you know this video is talking about your mental health but focus on your spiritual health, focus on your physical health. All these things play an important role, but your mind can influence everything because of your perception. And that's the main thing I'm trying to get at here is once you start working on your perception and working on how you are thinking about these things, understanding these different things, that's when things will start to change for you. That's when things will start to look up for you. That's when, you know, these obstacles that you were having before will be able to change. So, just take some time to actually, you know, accept yourself and heal your mind, you know, and actually work on it and, you know, implement some of these things, you know. And if you want some tips, you want some different mantras and different things that you do, hit me up. You know, I'm always here for you. But take that time to actually look at within yourself and go on this journey to balance your spirit, mind and body and get your mental health up to par. And hey, you might find something out.